Back to the uh, Frog Martin, finishing it off. Very little left, maybe enough for one more ball. I can say, once I uh, went through, cleaned all the uh, Petersons and stuff, and replaced the cotton ball down in the air chamber I can run a they smoke great I can run a pipe cleaner through the stem comes out perfectly clean every time so I'm guessing got something in my eye the uh, the cotton ball is absorbing everything and it's keeping the stem clean so seems to be working pretty good so You all that have Petersons might want to try it out. Just put a piece of a cotton ball down in the bottom of the air chamber. This one's even got the uh, thing in it. Just down, down in there that you can't see. Yep, nope, can't see. But uh, yeah, it seems to even be keeping the stem clean. Well. Uh, Yep. Oh. More bad news. Seeing as uh, last time, yesterday when I went shooting, I broke my Glock. And today, I went shooting again. Took my uh, Keltec PF9. Great summertime, concealed carry, pretty small, thinnest uh, 9 millimeter on the market that I know of, very thin. Great for just dropping down the pocket, holds uh, 7 rounds. This magazine fits, uh, fits flush, so some people have a problem with that last finger. But, but I don't have my other magazine sitting here. The other magazine has an extension on it for uh, for your, your last finger, so it works pretty good. But uh, went out today shooting this bent firing pin. So yeah. Yesterday. Sheared off one of the tabs on the Glock that holds the slide on. Today, been the firing pin in the Keltec. So, I don't know what I did, but karma is kicking my ass. Luckily, I have uh, spare parts for all my guns. So, it's pretty easy just swapping out the firing pin. It's always always nice to have uh, spare parts. Whenever I get a gun, I order a parts kit for it. So anytime something something goes wrong, unlike the Glock, because the Glock the whole frame's got to be replaced. It's not something I can do. I don't have a spare frame laying around. Got everything but a frame. But Yep, not exactly sure how I bent the firing pin, but I bent the firing pin, it won't fire anymore. It was bent bad enough that uh, it wouldn't strike primer. And I, when I when I'm practicing, I always use a one of these for a snap cap. Got a rubber pad in the primer to cushion the impact. So. 
Just put it in there. I can only do it. Uh oh. Easier to just load it in the magazine. Okay. I recommend when you do that, always pull it open a little bit. Double check it's the snap cap. But, uh, yep. So, I just can't get a break. <laughs> I'm just going to quit doing everything because every day I do something, I break something. And I did some videos out of the range today, and they won't upload. Every time I try to upload, it says I get some error message. It says unknown error. Well, I don't know. We filmed them with my brother's camera, which is an HD camera, so it may have something to do with that. I don't know. But, yep, same old poop, different day, more shit going wrong, maybe tomorrow will be better, hopefully, hopefully tomorrow will be better, that's all I can do is just hope for tomorrow, keep my head up, take it one day at a time, hopefully y'all have better days than I am. <laughs>